Oh, it's god awful hot in here. Wee doggy. Smells like grass clippings and whippersnipper. Now you're thunder. Oh, can get those windows up. All right, so snippy shark and nippy shark put in a good day today. Five and a half hours of pretty much non-stop. Uh, pretty much non-stop whipper snipping. Oh, I am beat. But now I'm off to the fish fry. Oh, there we go. Okay, so snippy shark and nippy shark. So, Snippy Shark is my first whipper snipper, the brand new one, the FS, uh, still FS38, right? And I've been working that poor little bastard for about a month and a half, almost two months now. Three to six hours a day almost each time. I don't know if whipper snippers are supposed to do that kind of hard time, you know what I mean? Um, and it's been a good whipper snipper so far. Uh, now Nippy Shark, which is also an FS38, but an older one. Okay, so I got it the other day for three hours labor because the deal is, is with these new tools that I'm getting is, I'm broke, I have no money, right? But these people, they need somebody to work with. They have money, but they'd rather trade, they, they want to get rid of stuff, right? So they're going to trade basically tools for time. You know, barter and trade, old, old fashioned style, right? And uh, that works for me because I got no money, right? I, I'm broke all the time. Uh, I'm getting there though, I'm getting there. And um, it was 27 and a half hours for the two chainsaws, which would equal about 550 bucks, right? For my two chainsaws, the, the still 180, MS-180 and the um, Husky uh, 235, right? 31 cc and 34 cc saws. And the next saw, I don't know. I know it's supposed to be a bigger saw. And hopefully, when they say big, I mean big. You know, like I mean, like a big fallen saw, right? And that one, they want me to work off these other two saws, understandably, before because they don't know me, right? Uh, they know of me from my other clients and stuff like that. And I, you know, people say good things about me, so. Well, I think they say good things about maybe they don't. I don't know, uh, but I'm assuming they do, or I wouldn't have the uh, wouldn't have the job, right? So the the whipper snipper, like at first I didn't want it, but then I started thinking, it's like, duh, they only want sixty bucks for that whipper snipper, and I'm like, if it works one day, <laughs> it'll pay for itself twice, pretty much in one day, as it pretty much paid for itself. Uh, I made $110 today, so in five and a, uh, five and a half hours, right? So uh, another half hour would have paid for itself twice, right? Pretty damn good, pretty damn good. But why do I want two? Well, you run one, and when it's done, you, you fill up the tank, you put it aside, you grab the other one, you run it till the tank's empty. And then when it's done, you fill up the tank, you put it aside. And it gives a bit of a cool down time for your machines. So you're not just running them six hours solid, right? And uh, yeah, so it gives a bit of a duty cycle to the machines. And I don't know what the duty cycle is on these whipper snippers. Uh, like, are you maybe a little bit quieter maybe? It's almost too hot to have the windows up, but 23 degrees, but with that Humidex, it feels like 27 anyway. But. <laughs> plus the truck's been parked in the sun there so it's pretty hot um, but the point I'm making is that by cycling them I could probably get even more time out of these whipper snippers like if I get five years out of each whipper snipper holy geez you know that would be pretty good now I may have two more whipper snippers coming to me and if they work these whipper snippers will probably last till I die. <laughs> you know what I mean? Because um, I heard these things don't last that long, but everybody that I, there's only one guy that I heard that from and everybody else, it's like, like anything, people swear by it or swear at it, right? There's only one guy I met that swears at them. Everybody else is like, oh, that's the best whipper snippers I've ever had, is those things. My only thing about it is they are kind of heavy. 
So I'm thinking, you know, maybe, because the other two whipper snippers are lighter. Like, I do need these ones because I do end up in a lot of uh, raspberry briars and brush and scotch grass and stuff like that. And they're, they're ideal for that, for sure. Um, anything smaller than that would be, you'd be working it really hard, you know what I mean? But for the regular stuff that doesn't require all that brute strength, go with a lighter whipper snipper just for the other stuff. Man, it, it make your, be easier on your back. You know, like I know most people, uh, not most people, but a lot of people, like you'll see channels like this all the time, uh, especially with the chainsaw stuff, where you got a guy, he's got like all these chainsaws, they're all big beasts, and he does like these demo cuts, and so there's a whole bunch of channels like this, right? And they show you all these powerhouse stuff. What they don't show you is an eight hour day working with a 15 pound chainsaw for two weeks straight. <laughs> you know, doing that two weeks straight, you know, or a month straight. They don't show you what that does to your body. You know what I mean? Uh, so a guy like me tells you what that does to your body. Hence why, uh, oh, there's a beamer. Hence why uh, I prefer, um, you know, lighter's better. If you don't need the power, you know what I mean? Lighter's better. Uh, you know, tool to the job. It's always good to have a bigger machine, but it's always a good idea too to uh, go a little bit faster. Not sure who that is. It's a big old ram. But uh, yeah, it's like, um, as I was saying, like, you know, like, if you, you can work all day with some of these lighter machines too. And, uh, you, you know, you, it does the same job, right? So don't work any harder than you have to, especially if you're doing intense physical labor, <laughs> like I'm doing all the time. So yeah, I'm gonna go to the home, get cleaned up, go, go over, in the front yard, meet, you know, up with some family members, shindigs, long weekend. Uh, hopefully gonna have tomorrow off. Cause I think everybody's busy tomorrow because of the long weekend. And I don't like to disturb people on a long weekend either, so. So, we got everybody, you know, covered for this week. Next week's uh, gonna be a busy, busy, busy week. Got lots of, like, Four or more project jobs that uh, we've got to get done. Like, we're lucky if we get it all done this year. Like, it, it, you know, woo. I don't know what that, I think it was just a shirt, but still. Could have been like a, a lead brick shirt. <laughs> yeah, whole thing all over the road here. But anyway, yeah, so it was a good day. Uh, Nippy Shark was a little bit clogged up. So the first time I tried it, on Wednesday when I uh, picked it up, I, I started it and it wouldn't like go more than half throttle. It was really hard to start. So I thought, well, I'll probably just clogged up an old gas and whatever. Uh, so it didn't run for more than like two minutes, or give or take, right? So I put it back in the truck and I grabbed Snippy Shark and I, I said, well, I don't know if that, that, uh, uh, whipper snipper runs well or not she goes well if it doesn't you know well you know like you know don't expect you to take it if it's not running right so well, it might be just clogged up so i said i'll take it and mess around with it then i tried it yesterday and uh and uh when i tried it yesterday it ran for about a minute or two longer and then it, it'd be like eh, 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 and it would flood and it bog out it's like, okay, it's just probably a little stuffed up. So I dumped out the old gas this morning and I did mix some new gas in it with last night, but I guess it was really old, old gas. Uh, Cause it ran a little bit better yesterday, but I couldn't run it for more than like a minute or two. So I think, well, today, if it doesn't run well, I figured I'd try it. So I put brand new gas in it, freshly mixed gas bought today. And uh, it was boggy for the first, say minute but it stayed running and it ran a little bit better on the new gas, so I figured, okay. And then, it, uh, 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 and then I just started kind of like pulsing the trigger just a little bit, just to get it to go. And I thought, well, maybe it's not 
that little bubble's not fully primed and maybe there's clogged you know clogged in the the, the 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 you know the fuel line and maybe the jets are a little clogged whatever and so I, you know sometimes when you flex it like that it moves things you know and uh, oh i think we'll run through that splash pad right now must be a kid in there I see any kids though Oh, they're there. <laughs> anyway, so when I did that, it was like, <laughs> when it took off like that, it was good. And then I ran probably about three tanks through it today. So three or four tanks. So got a good, it got a good clean out. It doesn't start as good as a Snippy Shark, I guess just because he's newer. But it's a lot smoother because he's more worn in, right? Yeah. Cool, eh? Yeah. So anyway, there we go. That was my day. And now, I'm gonna go get some uh, fish at the fish fry.